day, every day. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my top five series. If you're new here, hi, welcome, Claire. No, that's not. <laughs> If you're new here, hi, my name is Zoe. Welcome to my channel. If you want to become part of the hashtag Onion Ring crew, which is like my little family, then do hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to purchase some merchandise and help donate to the hashtag Get Zoe a New Camera Fund because I'm in desperate need of a camera, then check out all the links down below. So today's top five video is my top five nighttime rides. I love rides when they are in the dark. I think every single ride, this was really hard just to pick five because I think every single ride goes from just average to like over the bar, like over God tier at night time. And like, they really just blow you away like it's crazy. So the first ride on my list and my favorite ride at night time is Wicker Man at Alton Towers. So Wicker Man opened in 2018 and is manufactured by GCI, which is Great Coasters International. Wicker Man at nighttime truly exceeded my expectations. So the first time that I did Wicker Man was in November 2019 um, and I went on the last day of the fireworks event that they had. I'd been once before that but I was too much of a pussy to go on like any of the bigger rides um, and Wicker Man wasn't open when I went and um, so this was my first time on Wicker Man and we did it in the day and I kind of came off a bit disappointed Um I was like oh it's not as good as everyone makes it out to be and like it's not a bad ride at all but I just didn't find it to be that great and you know that fast and whatever it was just very like overhyped. I then went on it at night time and oh my god it is truly out of this world. Wicker Man picks up so much speed at night time I think because it has been running all day and um, the ride just kind of gets faster and faster and faster as the day goes on and obviously the wheels have warmed up and everything and um, so you literally just go flying across the whole layout it is pitch black in some places so you can hardly see where you're going and that just makes it 10 times more fun because if you don't know sort of the track layout off by heart and I certainly don't um, then it just makes it so much more fun and it's like oh you don't know what's coming next and it makes it more intense and like oh my god it's incredible. <laughs> when riding Wicker Man at night time it can be a bit jolty and a bit rough in places but I would say overall like it's not a completely rough ride and I think some people make it out to be like the worst ride and it's like rougher than Grand National and like that is just not the case at all like we all have different opinions but like I don't understand people who really have started to hate on Wicker Man like I think it's such a great coaster and at night time it just I feel like it's something that you have to experience yourself to understand why it's so good at night time. It also just looks really impressive off ride like the whole structure it just being in pitch black and then you just have these flames coming out of the wicker man and um, and then in the queue line as well you have all the bunting and then they, there's these little like fairy lights there's some like bulb lights in some areas as well and it just looks really pretty and really 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 stunning and I think just with the audio playing you can hear everyone like screaming and talking about it and I think it just creates like a real atmosphere and like I can't 
begin to describe how good it is at night time because it is just something that you have to experience in person to understand how good it actually is at night time. The second coaster on my list is the big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. The big one opened in 1994 and is manufactured by Aerodynamics. So it's not very often that I get to ride the big one in the dark just because I have only been to a few late night ridings, like I haven't been to many of those events at all. Um, and obviously Pleasure Beach kind of close at like five-ish on a normal day anyway, so it doesn't really get dark by then. Um, but the times that I have ridden the big one in the dark, wow like oh my god i really did like struggle do i put the big one first or do i put wicker man first but i think wicker man kind of just does beat the big one a little bit for a nighttime ride the big one at night time truly looks stunning because the whole coaster is lit up and then if the big one is going to be lit up then the whole uh, the whole park is going to be lit up and you can see every single ride lit up and it just looks so stunning and like oh my god like that is the definition of exquisite like that truly is something else and it really does hit different i think there's something just so special like when you're going up that lift hill in the dark um, and it kind of gets darker and darker and darker as you're like going up because you're leaving the station which is all sort of brightly lit and then you come out into the darkness but everything else is lit up so you kind of have still a little bit of light and then as you get to the top obviously all of that light kind of fades away and um, so it gets darker and darker and darker and then you go into this really big steep drop and it is just incredible the views you get from that lift hill especially when the illuminations are switched on like that is truly something else you can see so far out over Blackpool and just with all the lights and illuminations and like everything it just looks so 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 stunning and like I really wish that I had more opportunities to ride the big one in the dark but I don't which is really sad. I would also say that the big one is so smooth in the dark as well. Again I don't really understand people who sort of slate the big one for being rough because I just don't find it rough at all. Maybe it's because I'm a small person like I don't know but I just don't find it rough at all. It's my number one coaster overall like it's my baby I love it so much. Um, but I think at night time it just gets so much smoother. I don't really know how it does that. She also picks up a lot of speed at night time as well. I think I'm going to be saying the same about all of these coasters but they do just tend to be a lot faster at night time um, and especially when you're like going through the tunnel as well, like the final tunnel before you go into the break run. Like because you're sort of going into pitch black um, but then you get this like flashing camera at you because of the on-ride photo you literally can't see a thing and um, so that's really fun and enjoyable and then the ride just stops and you're like oh my god like I don't know personally I'm just like blown away and I just want to do it like all over again um, but yeah it goes so fast it's so smooth the views you get are incredible whether the illuminations are on or not um, the views are just incredible anyway the third ride on my list is Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach Icon opened in 2018 and is manufactured by Mac Rides again same thing with the big one I don't get to do Icon uh, in the dark that often but I think I've done Icon in the dark more than I have big one just because Icon never seems to have that long of a queue and if it does have a long queue it gets moving so quickly and um, I think that's also another reason why I haven't done the big one that many times in the dark because the queue gets insane and um, so I mean I would happily wait for it but most of the time the people that I'm with aren't willing to wait for it so um i don't get a chance to do it that often but i can just like the dispatches are crazy and they are like so 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 good I think there's just something really special about being in the icon station um and then just sort of getting on the train and leaving the station and then just like going into sort of pitch black um i think in the station like it just feels really cozy because it's kind of lit with like 
orangey yellow lights if that makes sense and it just feels really nice and warm and cozy um, and then you leave the station and like the train is lit up it has its lights on it has lights going like all underneath it and then the headlights on the front as well it just looks absolutely stunning and just icon at night time like it really does leave me speechless <laughs> This coaster flies around the track at night time. Like, if you think the big one is fast, Icon is a different level of fast in the dark. Um, it just goes so much quicker um, and the launches get a lot faster. I think if you're, if you haven't done Icon before and it's your first time and you have high expectations, especially for the launches, I think wait a bit until later on in the day and then do icon because the launches get faster as the day goes on so then that means if it's been going for like 12 hours straight then those launches are going to be so much faster and so much more intense and so much more forceful and it's just incredible it's like really special just going sort of launching into the tunnel especially when the mist is on um, launching into the tunnel and then just coming out going over that top part you can see the big one all lit up I also think with Icon as well you can actually see how fast it's going whereas with some of the other coasters like they they only sort of feel faster you don't actually sort of visibly is that is that a word visibly I don't know but um, you don't really see it whereas Icon you can see those launches get so much faster, you can see the train just whizzing around the track and it just looks fucking beautiful at night time and it needs to have its lights on all the time, like petition, let's get a petition going, have Icon's lights on, whether it be daytime or nighttime because it looks stunning and the photos and videos you can get, like oh my god, incredible. The next coaster on my list is the Smiler at Alton Towers. The Smiler opened in 2013 and is manufactured by Gerslauer. So I'm kind of running out of things to say at this point because I feel like I'm really repeating myself, but the Smiler at night time, like, wow. It truly did go above and beyond my expectations. I did it in the daytime uh, again on that trip that I had in November um, and I came off it and I absolutely loved it. Like I just instantly fell in love with it. Um, and then we did it again at night time and like, oh my God, it was incredible. I really wasn't expecting it to be that good. Um, like kind of the same with all of these other coasters like the speed just gets to a whole new level um you can hardly see where you're going you don't know what's coming up especially sometimes like with the airtime hills they can come as like a bit of a shock sometimes um, and like each inversion like you just don't know what's gonna happen. I don't think I have had one bad ride on the Smiler at night time. I think every single time I've been on it in the dark has just blown me away and it just seems to get better and better and better every single time I ride it in the dark. I find the Smiler at night time to be so much more intense. It is, it can be actually a lot smoother at night time as well. It goes so, so, so much faster. Going into some of those versions is insane because you just get like thrown around, but it's still smooth and it's still enjoyable. And it's like, you just can't see what's coming up next. And it's this one big, tangle of just inversions and like oh it's incredible and also going up that vertical lift hill in the dark that is intense because i hate vertical lift hills they really scare me i find them so uncomfortable and um, so doing one in the dark is a lot more scary um and i don't know what it is about doing it in the dark it just adds more intensity um, and it just makes it a lot more scary but it's kind of more enjoyable because I like the feeling of being scared because it gets my adrenaline going um, and 
yeah, I think that's the whole reason that we go on coasters in the first place is to like feel scared. And the fifth coaster on my list is Rage at Adventure Island. Rage opened in 2007 and is also manufactured by Gerslauer. So I've done Rage a few times in the dark and every single time I have done it, I've come off feeling so impressed. Adventure Island, I think is such an underrated park and I really hope that I can get there this year because I miss it so much. Um, and they are always open until like 10 p.m. in August, which is just incredible. And I think other parks really need to take notes. Um, but yeah, but the fact that they are open until 10 p.m means cheeky little nighttime rides which means i have done rage in the dark many a times same thing with the smiler this also has a vertical lift hill so going up that vertical lift hill in the dark is very very scary and it can be really intense i don't think this is as long as the smiler's lift hill so this is over a lot quicker um but still it just gets super intense and then when you get to the top you don't have a lot of time before you drop because with it being vertical you're literally like you go straight for like two seconds and then boom you're straight down into a really 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 steep drop straight into a loop and like that whole just as soon as you drop and like you're off like it's incredible and like the suspense builds and builds and builds as you're going up that lift hill and then you don't have a lot of time to sort of process the fact that you are about to go into this super steep drop and then into a really big loop um so i think doing it at night time and sort of not knowing when that drop is gonna come it makes it so 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 much scarier and a lot more intense it looks incredible because it's like a pink and yellow color when it's lit up it looks so nice and vibrant but then it's not vibrant as in it's like in your face too much like it's lit up to like the right amount if you get what i mean um and i think because it's kind of in its own area sort of the only other ride around there is like sky drop and like vortex um but you can't really see those when you're actually on the ride so that whole sort of where the actual coaster is there isn't really anything else around there that is lit up so again it's that thing of it being just super dark you don't really know what's coming next um and i'm saying this word so many times but like all of these rides like the intensity levels just go up so 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 much higher in the dark um and the fact that you can't see where you're going it's like having a blindfold on like it's crazy so those are my top five nighttime rides this was a really hard video for me to film because it was super hard to just pick five rides out of all of the ones that i've done in the dark because there are so many that just really go up so many levels and so many tiers um when you ride them in the dark i don't know what it is about the dark but it just makes the whole theme park experience better and um more just magical and more intense and just more enjoyable so i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did and i'll see you guys next time for a brand new video Mwah. bye